I decided to write In Pursuit of Wealth, The Mall Case for Finance with my co-author Don Watkins because I've had this connection to finance for a long, long time. I mean, I got a PhD in finance. I then went on and taught finance for many years at the university. And one of the things that really bothered me is the attitude the culture as a whole has towards this profession. Financiers are blamed for every financial or economic crisis that has ever existed, really, for the last 2,000 years since Jesus threw them out of the temple. They are the scapegoat for every problem that we have had. Why? I wanted to correct that injustice. I wanted to set the history straight. And when I was teaching, I taught a course on exactly this topic, on the morality of finance. And the material is wonderful because, first of all, finance is incredibly productive and people don't know this. The profession is a noble profession and people don't know it. If you go back since Jesus threw the money changes out of the temple. These guys have been demonized. Think of Shakespeare's Shylock. Think of the attitude towards um, money lenders that that represents. Think of Dante's Inferno, where the money lender is dragged by the bag of gold around his neck deeper and deeper into the fire, like right? he's on the seventh rung of hell. But that money bag is dragging him even deeper down. When I taught the class, I used to ask my students at the beginning of the semester to find a positive portrayal of a successful financier in a book or a movie. And it was the hardest assignment they had ever had because go find one. It's very difficult. Our culture has a uniformly negative view of this noble profession. And that's what In Pursuit of Wealth is targeted at correcting, at fixing.